So I'm also presenting a paper where we're looking at patients who've, um, who need to have both concomitant treatment for their aplastic anemia with immunosuppressant therapy, as well as treatment for their PNH with eculizumab therapy. And I think appropriately people have been wondering whether both treatments can be given safely and then also are both treatments still effective if they're given together. So we've got quite a large cohort of patients who have both conditions and we've become quite used to ma managing this but we realised that there was a need to um, look at this further. Our group actually published on this quite recently and we're pleased that we could collaborate with investigators worldwide and share our experiences to really support the previous findings that it is safe, firstly, to give um, immunosuppressant therapy with eculizumab, but that the response rates are also similar when you do that. So the response rates for PNH is that you will still find effective blockade of the complement system with eculizumab. You expect with um, standard immunosuppressant therapy being ATG and cyclosporin for aplastic anemia, you expect roughly a two-third response at the primary treatment, even if it is short-lived, and that is the rate that we still see for these patients.